I'm Margaret Ann Windsor, and today's Thursday, and forgive me, I think it's the 25th of September. <clears throat> anyway, my father's Edward VIII, and I'm putting this up again so those that might just be watching for the first time all uh, get the gist of it all. Uh, my father never married Wallace Simpson, a double, an imposter did in 1937, the same year as uh, my Uncle George, the illegal sixth, uh, was uh, given the title of king by the Illuminati that took down my father, Edward VIII, in 36, with character assassination. He would not go along with the Illuminati. It wouldn't take orders from him, so they took him down. There was an addendum, a legal attachment, all legal. My father never turned on his country. And thank God there are those who never forgot me or <clears throat> the truth about my dad. <clears throat> he was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, school teacher from Madison, Wisconsin. So you had a king that was married to an American and uh, his daughter's queen, Victoria II, the moment I drew my first breath, all legal. And uh, there you go. They took him down because he was honest, not the way that this double has behaved deliberately and portrayed my father as everything but who he is. They really intended to take him down, and that's why the treaties were signed in the Illuminati <clears throat> has uh, chipped people. This is what I've been writing about. They got away with kidnapping me. My father and mother were still alive. October the 20th of 86, married to each other. The double that married Wallace Simpson, the American spy, died in 72. Buried at Frogmore, <clears throat> Windsor. <clears throat> now, the uh, you know when the I, I don't remember the book look or one of the magazines back then. Oh, there were two big ones way back in nineteen thirty seven, et cetera, et cetera. They deleted everything of my mom and dad. They put in this double that became the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. They put this hideous spy. Remember the Illuminati, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, um, Roosevelt, the president. These are some of these are Jews, the Rothschilds. <clears throat> I got some uh, notices from YouTube yesterday because I mentioned this. They're Jews. They went after me and my father, and they're the Illuminati that is talked about in the end times. I didn't think that until the timeline and everything has come to this point. And I've put this up, and I, I really meant to get to this. So that's I put this up. <clears throat> the chipping of people and the Illuminati did it. It's the mark of the beast, the whole thing. And I quote Project Lucid. Uh, a book published by, Te I believe it's Tex Mars, M-A-R-R-S, he's deceased. But a church here in Troutville sent, bought, actually bought a book and had someone bring it to me. I was living on the Appalachian Trail up here out of uh, Troutville in Roanoke. Just to have a place to be, horrible condition, no food. Most of the time I didn't have a tent or uh proper bedroll and I froze and et cetera, and people watched it and there were a few came along and would uh, hand me something, but they were told not to help me and they didn't. Anyway, where am I going from here? I wanted to get back to, um, I wanted to get back to this part. I think I do. I put so many up here. I'm watching this Okay, that's who my father is, Edward VIII, a decent man. My mom, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, my aunt's George O'Keefe, the artist. I saw where one of her paintings sold for, oh my goodness, up in the millions. You know, these same people that bought this, uh, I'm sure if this is all exposed finally, would say, oh, well, I didn't know about you. And this may be true in, in this person's position. I don't know. People don't care that George O'Keefe's my aunt. My mom is Claudia Ruth O'Keefe. My father's Edward VIII. They don't give a 
You fill in the blanks. Now then, I want to get back to this. I'm watching all this uh, hashtag this if they were raped and all this. Now I'm going to tell you part of the truth that I haven't told. And I've not lied that I'm aware of. I'll say it again. I haven't lied. I have been to Congress, the same people that are putting all this up, and now Kevin, I, I, don't let me mispronounce his name. I think he's probably a good man. If you went back in high school and you got all the uh, young fellows or girls, girls, I can remember some in my class, uh, my God, nobody would be in Congress. Plus, your Congress all knows about me and my kidnapping. They know about mind control, the use of it. So which one of them are clean? Uh, I'm not going to go any further with that. How about putting them all up under oath? I dare you. See how many of them are crystal uh, clean and all this. I can tell you what, <laughs> you clean out the swamp right there. Now I want to go back. I, in about 19, I'd married my husband, and I know that it, that he was sent there. I was supposed to marry him. And uh, <clears throat> right away there were problems because he, uh, instead of having, <laughs> how can I put this? Let me just put it this way. Uh, I had Mark and Scott, and God knows I would not take anything in this world. They're my happiness and pain because they hurt and the truth has never been told i put it up on youtube and facebook for that reason um in huntsville alabama is the space program it's uh, uh oh my god jack hartsfield the reporter his cousin, cousin to Hank Hartsfield, the astronaut, who was commander, by the way, of a couple of shuttles. So Jack knew what he was talking about. He's also FBI. <clears throat> but he had a lot in a lot of the letters I put up, and for some reason I've had such a bad time the last few days I can't take toxic fumes that um, <clears throat> it tires me and takes my energy and really makes me really sick, uh, according to how bad the fumes are. Obviously, pretty bad. My ears, I've had a bacterial pneumonia is what I have. or I'm not sure I'm over it yet. Anyway, I wanted to get this out because of Congress. I have fallen down in Congress, carrying my book, Letters from the FBI, uh, et cetera, et cetera. They have always known who I am. They've always known about my father. Your Secretary of State, which would be Hillary Clinton, it would be... Uh, What's the black lady from Alabama that was Secretary of State, Condoleezza Rice? She would have to know all this. Sessions has to know it. The Attorney General, all the way back, Sparkman. They all know about my kidnapping and the takedown of the British Empire. That was this whole thing. Take my father down, who would not sign or allow treaties to be signed, and that's why... We were invaded, and this is why, whether you like me to say it or not, it was not all right for the Jews to do this to me in my country and uh, my children. And I hope you come face to face, this world does, and they have to look at the horror story that transpired right in front of this country, and they helped do it. And thank God for the few that did help me. I will not forget them should I ever have the chance to do anything uh, in return good to for them. And certainly for my people in Great Britain who never... forgot me, even though part of my family did, and I'm not, not going to lump all my family in, because I happen to know there's some that have helped. Now, I want to get to this, because I didn't put this up, and you can't put it all up. I thought I was a lit, little depressed when we moved back, and, and uh, the boys were 11 and a half months apart. And they were little, and my husband had gotten himself uh, deep in debt. I didn't know he was like that, but he did. He got uh, we were deep in debt, and rather having he would go out and uh, he actually 
I had some stock in the company, and I'm just giving you a free instance because he was a sociopath, was what I've been told by another doctor. And uh, Lana Dempsey, where she killed the twins, and I was put there in 41, and Jeff K. helped do it. Um, his father was made ambassador by a Jew, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Now, if this bothers people, and it did yesterday, I got a couple of nasties, all because I told the Illuminatis, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, they helped kidnap me and helped do all this horror story to me. They're Jews. In fact, at Edinburgh Apartments here in uh, Roanoke, I couldn't get a home. I couldn't get a place to lay my head. I went to the National Forest and froze and starved. And when I say froze, it is a long journey I've been on of crimes committed against me and my sons.